Let's cut some glass. Got everything I need right here. Got my gloves, tape measure, dry erase marker, glass cutter, three in one oil, and a straight edge. Never done this before. Don't know what I'm doing. What could possibly go wrong? Don't know what I'm doing. What could possibly go wrong? Got this piece of glass from Home Depot. It was about 10 bucks, I think. And we'll get into what I'm using this for a little later. But first, let's get it out of the package. Huh, I really packaged this up pretty good. Okay, so this glass is 3 seconds of an inch thick and it's 24 inch by 36 inch. I'm going to cut it into three equal sections so I end up with three pieces that are 12 by 24. If I don't break any, of course. So let's give this a try here. Hopefully I don't cut myself, but we'll find out. A straight edge on it like that. There's a little bit of this three-in-one oil. Lubricate the cutter. I mentioned I don't know what I'm doing. Well, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Oh, that's a nice sound. Okay, let's see what happens here. Just put a board kind of underneath my line. Give myself kind of a fulcrum. Hey, that wasn't so bad. Let's see if I can do that again. Okay. Piece number two. I guess pieces number two and three. Oh, that one didn't work out too good. Oh well. Well, I got one piece out of it. <laughs> well, not bad for a first try, I guess. I think also what you're supposed to do is maybe just lightly sand the cut edges so they're not quite as sharp. So I'll grab a piece of sandpaper, just kind of round that edge over a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll... I think that'll work. Well, turns out it's not all that hard. Maybe it takes a little bit of practice to get good at it. I did get one piece I can use. It's the exact size that I need. These other two pieces, well, you know, maybe trim them down a little bit. I might still be able to use them, but I'm not too worried about that right now. This was really cheap. It was an experiment for myself. Never cut glass before, so yeah, not too hard. And you can do it too. Okay, so why am I doing this? Wait, why am I doing this? Why did I just cut some glass? Uh, oh yeah, for this right here. This is my Harbor Freight Media Blast Cabinet. I've had it for a really long time. It was sitting in a box. I finally put it together a couple months ago. I've been using it and you know, it works all right, I guess. It's a metal box. I mean, I don't know how you can get that wrong, but true to their nature, Harbor Freight did get a few things wrong when they designed this Media Blast Cabinet. And I was able to find some resources online, some videos on YouTube about some of the upgrades that you can make to this specific blast cabinet to make it work a lot better. And there are actually some kits out there. There's some companies out there that make kits with upgraded components and some additional instructions for when you're assembling this to make this cabinet work as best as it possibly can. The downside to that is I looked into those and they're really expensive. So I'm just going to take some of those ideas and incorporate them myself and see if I can make this glass cabinet work a little bit better. So the reason I cut the glass is to replace the glass that's in the window right here. Now Harbor Freight includes a glass window that also has these little plastic tear off sheets that as it gets kind of sandblasted on the inside you can tear off that sheet. But there's one problem with that. That swirling motion inside the cabinet of the, the sand or the glass bead or whatever you're using can actually create a little bit of a static electricity, which will cause that to stick to the plastic that's on the inside of this, and you can't see anything. So the idea is to buy those cheap pieces of glass from Home Depot or wherever you can get them, 
cut them to the right size, and use that as the replaceable liner. So you leave the tempered safety glass on the outside, you put the cheap glass on the inside, and once that gets sandblasted, you throw it away, you put a new one in. And having to replace this glass every once in a while is going to be a huge pain just because you can't reach in here. You've got to almost climb inside the cabinet to get to these screws. So I'm also going to make some upgrades to how this bezel mounts on here to make it a little bit easier for me to change this glass out when I need to. So let's get to it. So how am I going to make it easier to pull this off when I need to switch out the glass with this? Now this is a nut cert tool. I picked it up at, well, Harbor Freight. Surprise, surprise. And what it does, it works kind of like a rivet gun. It has these threaded inserts. It's basically a threaded rivet. Put it on the end of here. You drill the appropriate size hole, stick it in here, work the handle just like a rivet gun, and it compresses this in there. And then it gives you basically a threaded hole. So you can take a screw or a bolt and thread something down from the top without having to deal with nuts on the back side. Well, this video is going to turn into a tool review as well. I'm going to do a quick tool review on the Harbor Freight Rivet Nut tool. Well, it broke. Didn't even get through one project on it. I was doing the last one and I heard a pop inside. Something broke inside here and it no longer works. Maybe this is one of the Harbor Freight tools that has a lifetime warranty on it. I can take it back and get another one. But in all honesty, I might just try to exchange it for something else. There are some better versions of this, not at Harbor Freight, but I've seen some on Amazon that aren't that much more. And it's a different style. Instead of having the squeeze, kind of squeeze handle here like this, where you have to use a lot of hand force to get it to work, it has more like these long handles on it. Almost like, looks like bolt cutters sort of. So you push it down and then you have a lot of leverage to smash the rivet nuts in place. If you're going to get one of these, I would suggest skipping the Harbor Freight one, spend a little bit extra money and get one of the better ones with the long handles on it. Plus, I think this Harbor Freight will only do standard sizes. I don't think you can do metric rivet nuts on this one because it just this is what it came with and it doesn't look like it's set up. I mean, you might be able to find some additional inserts here that would work for metric, but some of the ones I saw on Amazon or both standard and metric. Just buy one of those and forget about this. This might end up in the trash anyway. So there's my tool review on the Harbor Freight Rivet Nut Tool. Okay, so now I got these in place. One of them is loose because the gun broke on it, but it's in place. So I'll have to try to get another rivet gun to finish this one off, but that's not a big deal because I can take these off easily now. So now I'm going to go grab the piece of glass. We'll set it in place. Here's our piece of glass. You can just set it right on there, drop it in place. Another benefit to this too is having at least a couple bolts come up from the bottom that will hold the glass in place instead of just having it slide off and smash on the floor. And the reason that I'm not doing it on all of them, you might be asking yourself why aren't there bolts coming up through all the holes? Because I don't have enough of the long bolts to make it all the way through. I only have this many long bolts and these are a little bit shorter. They're long enough to go through the top, but not enough to go through the bottom and get a wing nut on. So I'll probably try to track down a few more longer bolts later. I can always switch those out, no problem. But for now, this will work just fine. So next what I'm going to do is clean this glass off, clean the other piece of glass off, set that in place, put the trim piece back on and we'll be done. Okay, and then here's the piece of tempered glass that came with the glass cabinet. 
off camera to spend a few minutes getting it cleaned up because it had a lot of sticky residue from that plastic film that they put on it. it. Took me a few minutes to get that all cleaned off. But now I can put this guy in place. Before I do that, another recommended upgrade on this is to replace this foam weather stripping. The stuff that came with it from Harbor Freight is really, really just cheap stuff and it kind of, you can see it's already starting to fall apart basically on me. I don't have any here with me. I'm just going to run what I brung for now and maybe next time I switch out the glass, I'll replace the weather stripping. But for now, it'll do. So now I can just set this in place like so and grab some wing nuts it's a lot clearer I can actually see inside now and again when this inner piece of glass kind of wears out and gets all etched I can just pull it off and put a new one in. All right, that's pretty much it. Now I can get to work doing some blasting and I can actually see what I'm doing now. It's going to be a huge upgrade. Now on this one, I would like to hear back from you. If seeing how easy it is to cut glass has given you an idea for a project that you can do, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're going to be working on. And I think that'd be kind of fun to see what this could inspire now that we've discovered cutting glasses and all that hard or all that scary. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.